this morning uh, was up much higher than it is right now, but still a 15% gain as we uh, try to figure out whether or not this is a new entry into the Reddit community uh, frenzy trade environment. Uh, they are going to participate in the Morgan Stanley Tech and Media uh, Conference uh, virtually, but definitely a name to keep an eye on uh, this morning. Yeah, well, we, uh, it's 38% short, up, Carl. Jim? And when people see that, they think you can bust the, the sellers. Now, I have been a huge fan of Jay Farner and Dan Gilbert and have had them on and, frankly, don't understand why the stock didn't react to what was a very good quarter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another one of our videos and welcome to our channel. I just got back from my trip over the weekend uh, in the Rocky Mountains. It was great up there, even though the air was... A little light for me so i'm glad to be back all right today we're going to discuss uh rocket companies stock we'll cover why i bought more shares today to prepare for our earnings coming up and we'll review an article on it that's fresh right off the press from jim from cnbc also cover where i think the stock is heading i uh, will also cover the short positions that came out in my cover call trade that i performed against a thousand shares we will discuss on why i picked up these shares and what it's going to do for my portfolio if you're new to our channel please click any of the money icons below this video you'll be able to review any of our past videos and smash the like button and subscribe so let's get busy here are our current positions uh, we picked up the thousand shares that's this entry here we paid twenty two thousand two hundred and ninety dollars for that those shares and then we also put a cover call against her uh, we went after the strike price of 24 which would be twenty four thousand dollars if the share price goes over twenty four dollars a share by friday at close of business we'll pick up an extra $1,710 of profit. Now, we picked up that premium of $383 as well. So between the two, that's over $2,000 to help shore up this premium position. Because we remember, we still have 500 shares, but we bought them at a higher price. So that will average down our position. Now, this other rocket position is still open. If the share price jumps up high enough, I'll put another cover call against her, maybe to 24, maybe to 25. We'll, we'll see what happens when earning, earnings are set up for the fifth. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe tomorrow I'll put a cover call against her if the price jumps back up. Currently, right now, we've, had, we've taken in $7,297 of total profit and our premium went up because of the position we took today to five thousand eight hundred and eighty nine dollars three of the indices are in the positive and one is in the negative which has to be the nasdaq and that's what rock is a part of and because of that it's impacting the stock as well as there's very low volume again today and only 3.3 million shares traded average volume is normally 22.3 million so there's a lack of interest right now but the earnings is coming up May 5th, which is on Wednesday. And you know what happened the last time we came up to earnings? The stock normally rallied to the earnings in the last day, which is going to be tomorrow. The stock should jump up for us so that we can get some good cover calls in if we want to. Let's come down here. I want to go ahead and cover the analyst. There was one analyst change. That was the Bank of America here. And they went from a buy to a neutral. We disclose everything here. Now that downgrade puts it at a $24 average. That's what they were stating, that they went from like a 26 down to a 24 and put it neutral because they don't think housing loans, you know, will be applicable in this next quarter coming up. But remember, this, this stock's not just into mortgages. They're into services, they're into uh, car loans, they're into insurance. There's a lot more than just mortgages. Let's look at the short interest. Okay, the updated short interest only covers until April 15th. And it increased in short interest. So now it's about 8% of the, of the outstanding shares are sold short. So if Reddit comes in after earnings this time, just like the video that you saw at CNBC on the front of our video, if Reddit comes in after earnings, and we get a great earnings just like last quarter, then I don't see us going up to $40 or $45 that they pushed it up to because we have less short interest than we did back then. I see it only going up to maybe $30 or $35. 
And if more ETFs take Rocket and put it in their portfolios, then we will see it a larger jump. That's my opinion. So it all depends on the Reddit folks and depends on earnings coming up. Now, here's what Jim just said just a couple of days ago, April 27th, at his lightning round. I think these guys are very, very good at what they do. A lot of people feel that the housing boom is over. I think that's ridiculous. Jay Farmer is a CEO. I think he's real good at his job. And I want you to buy a little more. Get the basis better. There was this lady that was down by $12,000. Because she ended up buying on the high side. He wants her to go buy so she can get her cost basis in a better place. And that's why we bought a 1,000 shares so we can get that cost basis right for that one stock position that we've been picking up a lot of premium on. All right, now let's cover where the stock, what happened the last time. This was a time period of earnings. You see how we went up into the position, up into the earnings, and then bam, we we did good. And then the shorts tried to annihilate us. And then after a, a... about a couple of weeks, guess what happened? The Red, they had a short attack because the Reddit people jumped in and pushed the stock higher. Remember, the last time we got a special dividend off of all this. And uh, it should have reacted better than that because they had about 35% of the shares short. This time, we have 10% or less shares that are short. So what I think is going to happen, if we just get good earnings... Okay, and meet all the basis points. I think we can go higher because we have low volume and more ETFs will start putting the stock in their portfolios. Okay, we're going to depend on ETFs. We're going to depend on individual retail investors and then Reddit people. Some of the Reddit folks might just jump in and they're going to push this thing up. So it's all based off of our earnings. For long term, I believe this stock could go up to $50 or maybe $100 a share within a couple of years. That's my opinion. If Tesla could trade the way Tesla trades, if a lot of other companies can trade as high as they're trading, then trust me, this company should be a $100 billion company. But if you guys have a different opinion, please put them down below in the comments section. Now, I wanted to make this a short video for you guys, get this information out to you. Because I know we're only like a day and a half away from earnings. This management team is a very good management team. They know what they're doing. And if they keep knocking it down every quarter, I believe we will hit that $100 mark within a year or two. But in the meantime, it's going to be kind of rocky because the NASDAQ is going all over the place. And we're losing interest. And they just think this company is a mortgage company and not a tech company. Now, please share our videos with others and click the like button and subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching our videos. And you guys take care of yourself on this Monday afternoon. This is Sunny. Until next time, I'm out.